Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell by the title of the video, my Chanel is here. I ordered the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream in the travel size and this is a 390 Soleil Tan bronze so they did recently release some mini size or travel size i should say honestly it's the same thing in their um tint the water tint and these cream bronzers there's other things that got released in the collection uh, but honestly they didn't interest me i was only interested in picking up this little mini here i've been wanting to get this shade just to see if i can make it work for my skin when i'm pretty fair and also i did see a review uh, I'll, I'll remember or i'll look at the name i can't remember who and it turns out that they did change the formula just a tiny bit so we're gonna talk about that as well okay so if you are interested to hear my thoughts and if the formula is different from the original then just go Go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so when Chanel announced that they were doing travel sizes, at first I was like, oh, we don't really need that. But it actually makes a lot of sense for someone like me who has such a big collection. Um, here is what the packaging looks like. It looks like the original size is just smaller. And here is the mini or travel size of the Chanel cream bronzer. And here is the original size. But I feel like this is what a normal cream bronzer, like this is the normal size of a cream bronzer that is sold for like, say Beauty or NARS, like this is probably what the size that you expect versus this oversized one. When it comes to travel sizes, they're not the best bang for your buck. I know that because this big one retails for $50 and this mini travel size retails for $40. That's only a $10 difference between the two. And for somebody who doesn't have a lot of makeup in their collection, you probably think to yourself, well, for only 10 more dollars, I can get the big size. But for me, I 100% will never hit pan on this. A travel size is just more appetizing for someone like myself. This has, does it say, yeah, a 12 month shelf life and it was made in France. And this one also has a 12 month shelf life. I don't remember how old this is, but it's probably close to hitting the 12 month expiration date. <laughs> okay, so like I mentioned, I have the Soleil Tan Medium. And for the travel size, I purchased the Soleil Tan, which is the lightest out of the three that they have to offer. You can definitely tell the difference. And I feel like this one's going to work better when I'm, you know, a little bit more fair. I have gotten a tiny bit of sun, but not really. I'm still, I feel, on my lightest side that I normally am throughout the year. Um, Angela Van Rose. I saw her review of comparing the old formula with the new formula, and she did find that they did change the formulation. They took out coconut oil from the travel size. Now, I do know that at least I hear a lot of people say or comment that either they are allergic or for some reason, coconut oil does not agree with their skin. I personally have never had an issue. I don't think I have. Um, I would have to deep dive into it. I think it's a good thing that they took out the coconut oil just because it seems like so many people have issues with it. But we are going to test out the formulas and see if they perform any different, the same, and how I'm liking it. All right, before I apply this to my face, let me go ahead and just do a quick swatch. I do have to break the skin from this one. Gosh, when was the last time I picked it up? Um, it's been a minute, so it is a little dry. I feel like, well, I feel like in general, Utah is just a tiny bit more dry. I definitely feel like I might have problems with things drying out quicker here than I do in Houston, just because Houston is so humid, you know? So Soleil Tan Medium. 
and it's like a gel type of formula because it does feel gel like when you swatch it my twins are supposed to be taking their nap we'll see if it happens today and now the new one i'm not sure if i'm happy or sad that it doesn't have the swirl the swirl is so satisfying when you first get this one but i mean okay so it definitely feels creamier i feel like but still gel like not as gel like as the bigger one but like i feel like the um this one feels a little bit more slidey and this one it does feel like a gel at first but then once you start really rubbing in it it's almost like it's melting into the skin okay so the formulas do feel better and they even look different on the swatches don't they like as far as formula wise this one looks like it's maybe more blended into the skin and this one looks like it's just sitting on top okay all right i'm excited Okie dokie, so we're going to start with the Soleil Tan, which is the light shade. And this is the, um, it's a concealer blend kabuki brush from Sigma with Samantha Ravindal. But I use this for cream products. Uh, let's do, let's do it on this side here. I already have my foundation and I have the Beauty Blender tint mixed with dew drops from Surat. Okay. So it's definitely showing up. Now it's a very subtle, like natural kind of bronzer for my skin tone right now. So once I really get sun, I doubt I'll be able to really use this shade. But so far it's looking good. It's showing up well and it's blending out very nicely does it have a scent it does have that chanel scent but i don't feel it lingering as i'm applying it with the brush super pretty very natural you know what i'm gonna apply it on this side too and then we'll just use the tan one as kind of like a sculpting contour a tiny bit even though it's more on the red side <laughs> but this is very pretty I might be enjoying this formula more than the original. Well, not even original. They have already changed this formula once um, and I did not own that old formula. This is the, the one that I own is from the second time around when they reformulated the original. And I think it was like a 50-50 review. Some people liked it, some people didn't. So if you had the original and now you own the newest one, Besides this, the newest one before this travel size, let me know which formula you preferred. But so far, I feel like I'm preferring this one without the coconut oil in the formulation. Okay, that's what it's looking like. So, so pretty. I always feel like this cheek always looks patchy right there, but it only looks patchy on my viewfinder and not in person which is so odd. Okay, so now I'm going to jump in into the other formula that does have the coconut oil. This is a Sephora 99 brush. And I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of this right here. Okay, so formula wise, I just feel like the mini travel size one is just sinking in a tiny bit better into your skin. It's not a huge difference, but I do feel like the fact that the coconut oil is not in there is making a difference in how it feels, how it blends. It's not like huge, but it is. And um, the fact that they were able to accomplish in this looking just as beautiful as the original well not the original the second original formula <laughs> that's great that they changed up the formula and it's still a beautiful beautiful product okay but so far so good let me go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and i'll give you my thoughts here at the end
Okay, my lovelies and here is the finished completed makeup. Went light and natural. I did go into a couple of other Chanel items in my collection. Slowly but surely, my Chanel makeup is growing. <laughs> This eye and face palette in Tendrisse, I love this. It is so good. I've been using it quite a bit, as I'm sure you can tell. Love it. I believe it's sold out at Nordstrom's. I don't know if Macy's got it in or Saks Fifth Avenue, but every time I try to link it at Nordstrom's, it's sold out. So on the Chanel website, both the Tendriste and the Caracter are available. Um, I did also go in to some Chanel lip products. This is a lip liner and uh, beige natural is the shade. And this is a Chanel lipstick. It's part of um, the Comet collection. Terre de Etoile is the shade. Lip liner is a tiny bit lighter than the lipstick, but I kind of been enjoying where the middle is darker from the lip liner. I think it looks so pretty. Almost makes my lips look a tiny bit more pouty. But yeah, so what do I think about this Chanel travel size bronzer? Um, I do feel like this is a very good product to have if you travel quite a bit or if you have like a super huge collection and you've been wanting to try out this formula, I do feel like it's worth it to grab a mini or a travel size rather than the full size because for this full size, I can't remember if every time I dip into it, I have to break that first layer or that top layer because it's just been sitting there since I don't use it super off. I mean, I use it, you could tell, but it's not like I pick it up every day. So yeah, if it ever gets to the point where this really dries out, then I'll go ahead and toss this one and grab a mini or travel size of the um, Soleil 10 medium. The formula changed and even though it did, I actually am kind of preferring the newer formula. It just, it's like, yeah. I don't know, I just feel like the newer is kind of sinking into the skin and then this one is kind of just on top. I don't know, I could just be nitpicking and trying to find something, but I'm just stoked I have the Soleil Tan shade, which is the lightest out of the only three that they have to offer. And that way when I don't feel like just wearing the Soleil Tan medium, I can incorporate the lightest shade and make it not look so red top. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This mini travel size um, is a great formula and it performed beautifully, even though they did change it up just a tiny bit. I'll go ahead and link down below Angela Van Rose's video of her reviewing this and pointing out that the formulation is actually different. Um, she is one of the main reasons why I decided to go ahead and pick it up because I was debating it. And then when she mentioned that the formula was different, I was like, oh, okay, well then I can test out the difference in the formulas. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea all the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it truly means the world to me. So with that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big old thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. Okay, my lovelies, I will see you on the next video. Bye!